Hello everybody, Eric here. Today I have a real treat for you, a long-awaited video of the world's biggest, baddest stone generator you've ever even conceived of. This is my tutorial for my I-45, that's industrial strength 45 stone generator. It's big, it's bad, it'll eat your lunch and all your iron. Yep, it just doesn't get any better than this. Why in the world you would want something like this? Begs the question. Begs the question. Let's take it for a spin. And there we go, making cobble non-stop stone generation right in front of us and behind us. Yes, sir. That was a measly two passes. Let's change to the silk pickaxe. And back once just for fun. All of 12, 12 seconds on each pickaxe, and we're still filling them up. But of course. And we'll do some actual speed testing for you later. But uh, let's say you wanted between, I don't know, 18 and 22 stacks of smooth stone or cobblestone. Entirely up to you. Every minute of every day, as long as you're mining it this is what you want. Let's fly over our machine again and take a look at it. Simple redstone, simple clocks. We've got a uh, pulse counter up here as well to help us with our push down. 45 stone generation chambers, all in the Lucky Charms style with multiple water sources for each chamber. Offset stone production, offset stone pushing. I used to make machines that produced and pushed the stone all at once, and it was incredibly laggy on the servers. But thanks to a user named Damage Scrolls 16, he showed me how offset generation was the way of the future, certainly the way of the servers. Now then, if you find yourself on a skyblock with an economy and you find yourself in the enviable position of having enough resources to make such a monstrosity, you could provide stone and cobble for the entire server, as I often do on Paradise MC. Let's take a look at the uh, somewhat resource heavy nature of the machine. Yes, yes, yes. This is what I'm talking about. You see, we're looking at um, building blocks, 1,119 building blocks. Smooth or um, stone brick would be good. 807 smooth stone, 192 hoppers, 225 regular pistons, 170 redstone dust, 76 repeaters, 5 redstone torches, 3 sticky pistons, 45 obsidian. 47 wood planks, 51 jack-o'-lanterns, 4 slabs, 4 chests, 2 trapdoors, 1 stone button, 1 lever, 2 buckets of water, and 45 buckets of lava. It is not a resource light machine. I've uh, put the buckets of lava in this chest for you. So you've decided to build it. Well, here's how it goes. We're going to lay some items on the ground here. These are not included in the build. You do not have to use glass or smoke glass or anything like that. This is just a guide to help you. Two rows 47 long, two rows 48 long. They square up at the end here. You're going to use these to place your hoppers. Three full stacks of hoppers all shift clicked into each other. Take a look. Z 
see how I have these configured here? You're going to need a lot more chests before you're done. However, this will get you started. We also have some place to put your back while you're mining, so you can mine comfortably. On the other side, we have wood planks. Ordinary, boring. Did I mention that uh, this machine instamines? In fact, it relies upon the concept of instamining. That wasn't some kind of creative nonsense. This is creative. That's as fast as you can go. This is Instamine. What is it? Well, it's an Efficiency 5 pickaxe and a Haste 2 beacon. I have two beacons here. One is Haste 2. One is Speed 2. You're going to want to get all the stone you possibly can. Another minor expense for your Skyblock. Which brings us back to our wood planks. Why wood planks? And for God's sake, why on such a fancy machine? Jack-o'-lanterns. Makes no sense at all. It's because jack-o'-lanterns and wood planks won't be instamined like everything else. This is in creative, of course. By your super-duper pickaxe. So on the side of the machine that you're facing as you're mining... Please use wood planks. Don't use special sea lanterns or glowstone blocks or anything else. Use boring old jack-o'-lanterns. All right. <clears throat> At this point, you can add your trapdoors. This is just to help you as you're gliding back and forth at high speed so you stop at the right spot. No other reason. You're going to fill in these four rows by 45 long with stone, smooth stone. It's going to help you align the rest of the machine. Let's take a quick fly over it. Nothing too terrible so far, except that all the iron on your skyblock just went into hoppers. And let's take a look at the next layer. Same thing, more stone, three blocks worth of stone brick on either side, offset by one, right there, you see it, and on the other side. This is going to help us make the base for our 45 stone generation chambers. They are offset by one, there are 23 on this side, and 22 on this side. And this is what it looks like. Each generation chamber shares a water with its neighbor and its other neighbor. Thus, each one has two. The stone is generated right there. But you're going to fill it in with smooth stone. When you're building this, you're going to go to the previous layer, and you're going to build a perimeter on the outside. See how it overhangs? Same over here. This is still the easy part. Bucket of water in every opening, piston in between, obsidian in between the pistons, and across from the neighboring piston. See how that works? I strongly recommend you actually use obsidian for this build, not furnaces or chests or anything else, because when you hit it with your pickaxe, you might want to survive one or two little hits. And obsidian is kind of tough. Here's the overhang on this side. All sensible. Let's take a look at our base for our timer over here. I've embedded one sticky piston into it. Take note of the position. And I 
I've made the platform come out. Okay. Here's our simple timer. Switch here, dust on top. Repeater set to 1 into this block. Dust on top of that. That switch while on will turn off our redstone torch. Here's the line to our pulse shortener. This is our piston again, our sticky piston. We'll get back to this part in a second. We're going to start our stair step up to our pulse counter for the next level. We'll get back to that later as well. We have a single, a single, a double. Three repeaters. Only one of them set on two. Four, tick, clock. You can see I've removed the stone. It is all gone. You can remove it as well. In fact, you're going to need to remove it because you're going to be working down here now. And you're going to place all of these inverted pistons. See that? It's a great deal of them. Place them carefully. You're also going to make the lower portion of your lava holding chambers. See how they work? It's screenshot time. And let's take a look at the redstone while we're here. Very straightforward for this part. <clears throat> Line of redstone across, powered by this pulse shortener. Every place where we are at the back of a piston is dust. Every place in between is a repeater. Every repeater on this line and the other line, one tick. Let's take a look at the next layer. We'll be laying our redstone on top of these blocks for the push-down pistons. The center four under each of these will be directly powered. The other eight, the four on each side, will be pseudo-powered and bud updated by the pistons that are going down. <clears throat> Let's take a look at this lava. Same setup as before. The lava is placed here against the back wall. It is not placed at the bottom. Place it at the top. Let it run down. We're keeping it away from the water. An abundance of caution. Technically, it doesn't matter. In vanilla. On servers, things can get interesting. No other major changes. It's the same lava chamber pattern that we had over here. It's continued upward. You can place your lava, put in some torches if you want to stop mob spawning. You're going to add another layer to your elevator, your little uh, tower of redstone. No other changes to your clock. Let's move to the next one. Here we have a new platform for our pulse counter, our little redstone stair step, half slab step is complete. We have another pulse shortener right there. It will eventually get a block of its own. <clears throat> the glowstone here is optional. These new blocks are on this layer. They connect all of the push-down piston ribs here. And even though <clears throat> none of the push-down pistons are ready to go yet, we can still test out your build. We will turn on 
generation. And as you can see, a giant zipper arrives in front of us. If you don't have this beautiful pattern of stone generation, rewind, fix it. Just a thought. By the way, did you see how much stone was generated there? In such a short amount of time? Yeah. That's why you're watching this. No major changes here. I told you we'd end up with our block there on the pulse shortener. We're going to truly finish our stair step. Take a look at the bottom layer of the pulse counter. This is an automatic resetting pulse counter. Each one of the locked repeaters is set on two ticks. This repeater is set on three ticks. This repeater is set on three ticks for the reset. This repeater, two ticks please. Let's take a look at the counter a little further along right here. This is a sticky piston. It's inverted. It carries a block that will carry the signal from the locked repeaters when they're released. I've put a button here to help us go through the system in case things get out of sync at some point. This pulse counter was made by XRush101 and you can find a link to its tutorial in the description below. All this does, every time a cycle of stone generation has been started, it counts it. Four times it's four times generation, it'll push the generated stone down to you, the super miner, the man with the plan, or woman, as the case may be. And we already have stone in here. It's no good for testing. We were a little fast that time. No worries. <clears throat> this will automatically sync itself, by the way. So even if it gets a little gap toothed, it'll fix itself right up. My uh, trap door down there. There we go. I'm going to wait for the wave. I just catch that wave of stone coming down. Oop, another one just came. I'm a little out of sync with my mining, but that's okay. As you mine this more and more, you'll get accustomed to uh, being in and out of sync with the wave, so that you'll come back right as the wave is coming. There we go. Even being out of sync, as we started, and had only started this machine for the first time ever just now, for less than a minute, mm -hmm. we're doing just fine. That was all cobble, so we can count it pretty easily. It's still coming in through the hoppers, of course. What 
are we up to 16 stacks in under a minute? With out of sync mining, I tell you, life is good. Uh, we're still raking it in here. Seventeen stacks, very nice. And we can get it in silk as well, of course. Helps if I turn the machine on. You won't be sprinting through this since you're walking sideways or strafing. But, um, I mean, at every pass, we're talking about a great deal of stone. It is a thing of beauty. A monster, perhaps, but a thing of beauty. You can see the wave of the push-down pistons there. Wave of the stone generation. Everything offset. Counted. Timed and ready to go. You see how that locks up? Oh, yes. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on the Industrial 45 Stone Generation Machine. Biggest, baddest, and probably the most expensive continuous mining stone generator ever devised. We will see you next time. Um, probably uh, Keep an eye out for my basic redstone tutorial video coming up soon. This is Eric, in-game name, Clydesdale fan. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.